Hi, I'm Tina and this is a little video that I'm hoping will show how stress gets into our body, okay? Our bodies are designed to be nice and soft and move a lot. We've also got something that most of us will know called the fight and flight system. And that is something that was built into our bodies to help protect us when we feel under threat. Stress brings in that same feeling of being under threat. So when we feel stressed, our body goes through little uh, physiological changes. Our breath will change, our muscle tone will change, our eyes will dilate more, we'll even feel our digestion change. But if we constantly feel under stress, this is what's Gonna, we're gonna feel in our body. So our breathing might be more shallow and our muscles might be more tight because we're getting ready to run really, really fast away from something, for an example. So this means that what might be a really nice, soft, gentle body that I'm using here as an example is a plastic bag full of water. There's lots of nice movement there. It's nice and free flowing. You know, there's almost a feeling of fun about it as it wibble wobbles in my hand. If I make that water tighter, harder, denser, it's going to turn into ice. And if I have lots of different things going on in my life, or one big thing, yeah, if I have lots of little ice cubes, or maybe a couple of big ice cubes, eventually all that ice is going to merge and it's going to come to a bigger piece of ice. Or I might keep the odd feeling of an ice cube here and there in my body and part of my body feels tight or feels under strain. Examples, stressy job, lots going on in the family, may have had a relationship breakup, may have lost someone, may have put a strain on my body by doing too much at the gym, maybe worrying about my health, maybe feeling below par, whether it be mental health, physical health. We all have different things that stress us out and we all have friends that we see probably in our day-to-day -day lives and it doesn't affect them because we all cope with stress differently. So how can we bring this back to this to feel this nice movement, this nice feeling in our body? We unpick it. So in the sense that coming back to those physiological changes in our body when we feel under stress. So if our breathing is feeling tight, that's gonna have an overall effect on our body. So when we start to focus on our breath a little bit more, we bring in a little bit more of that softness, okay? And that very gently begins to melt the ice away. So that breath awareness might be practicing a slow, deepening breath. It might be practicing a breath that makes you feel more energized, but it might simply be noticing the breath. So movement. Movement might be going for a walk in the park, being in nature. It might be going to a gym session. It might be practicing yoga. Distracting your mind from busy thoughts by practicing something mindful. That brings us back to both the breathing work and movement. Because if you're out walking in the park and you're taking in nature and looking at the birds, your mind is focusing on that and maybe not anxious, stressful thoughts. If you're practicing in a yoga class, we would be practicing certain moves which would benefit certain feelings in your body, a tight back, a tight shoulder, but also how you're feeling in your mind. And by bringing you into your body, you're stepping back from a busy mind. When we bring all of these things together, we can really begin to melt away the ice. It doesn't mean that it's gone completely and it doesn't mean that it won't come back. But what it does do is help give us a toolkit 
to be able to understand what we can do to help ourselves. I hope that.